This morning I was teaching fifth year DCG design communication graphics. The subject that they were at was uh, kind of the culmination of a series of lessons in output one and producing the, the design uh, assignment. So the one that we looked at was the torch. They have to do their own uh, research, primary research, so they have to bring in their own devices and they have to upload the images and again they use Google Drive to upload the images that they can use then in whatever application that we're using. We particularly kind of lean towards using Word. We shared then what everyone come up with in the key features. They went back to the PCs, they open up GoConquer, they go about setting out a mind map and they add in graphics to the mind map. We're using GoConquer not just for the creation of the mind map but also for giving each other feedback on how good each other's mind maps are and what, what things we could improve upon them. We get the students talking to each other about the task at hand, so it focuses them on what they're supposed to be doing. There is a guide on what is actually supposed to be there. So they use that as reference, and then they discuss what is in each of each other's documents. Uh, you have maybe different skill sets with different students. Some students would be very good at putting together graphics. Maybe they, they have a different approach or different style, and they look at how someone else has done and they would offer suggestions of things that they like in that particular document and then they offer things that they think might improve that. His primary research has very, done very well, pictures are good. His, uh, his words highlighted very well too and the use of colours are excellent. They save their, their output uh, in PDF form. So when it's saved as a PDF, I, I use the Adobe Audio Recorder to just record straight into the document. So it's just a little speaker symbol that they put in. There's a record time on it, they click the time. It's really, really simple, it's done really, really fast. The idea of the students assessing each other, other's work, it's really a formative assessment because the document isn't complete. So you carry it out at stages throughout. At the very end, I would give a formative assessment myself uh, and it would be leading towards giving the students an opportunity to fix or improve upon. And that's their choice then to what they will do with the document once the formative assessment is given. Well, at the end of, of uh, not every lesson, but the majority of lessons now, uh, I would be using Mentimeter as a learning log. Mentimeter is an online voting system for capturing feedback in real time. It's really, really simple to use. It, it takes no time to set up the questions and you can reuse the questions over and over again. So as you've seen in the lesson, I didn't spend more than five minutes at the end of the, at the lesson and I had really strong feedback, which would have been very difficult to get any other time. So it gets the students to reflect, first of all, on what they actually done in the lesson. It also points to things that they would have found interesting, so it can help you tailor future lessons. And once I have that feedback, I post that on the, the, the student blog, so it's saved, and we can reflect back and we can look at each of the stages as it goes. Everyone has a, a Gmail account, and that's set up by the school. Because of all the Gmail account, I have all the kids sub subscribe to my own YouTube channel, which I have how to do kind of videos that we would have already gone through in class. Quick demonstration would be given of those. And if they need to reinforce that or they're unsure about that, they can go back and look at the, at the video and it, it just it makes it clear for them. We have a, a, a class blog, which the, everyone can follow what, we were, what we're doing. Everything's in the blog and it's, it's a kind of a, a timeline of your class and what's going on in it and everything that's happening in it. We have a huge amount of project work. It's always been trouble getting students to finish uh, assignments on time. Uh, all my printers broke or can't do this or can't do that there. You find that if you have it on the blog, say, right, put that up there. It doesn't take very long to do. They put it up, you can get to look at it and you can give them a chance to fix it up to the, the desired level that it should be at maybe or what you want them to get to. The advantages of using a blog or a website is that you have all your resources in one place and it's easy for the students to track down where things are. They don't have to be searching through addresses and, and it's very easy to find out where things are. The key function of, of the technology is to make life easier. Uh, it does that in the form of uh, all the different ranges of things that we covered today. The, the formative feedback, the, the, the appraisal of the lesson, it does all that for me. It ticks all the boxes for me, anyway.